Do a test for me. Run your fingernail across your knee, your elbow, and the back of that heel on your foot. Does a mysterious or flaky white substance come about when you don't have a skin condition? I don't care what complexion you are. That is ash. Hey y'all and welcome to the channel. And if you're new around here, my name is Dr. Nina. Over here, we talk about everything hygiene, self-care, skincare, hair care, everything in between that's going to keep you together and help you live the best life possible. And I got a question for you. Did you know that nearly 60% of all people make common mistakes when it comes to their shower routine, let alone their fall shower routine. I know some of us need to come down off of our hygiene high horses. We've been showering queens forever. However, do you know that a lot of people do not grow up in homes where they actually learn about hygiene and how to take care of themselves or even shower properly? So if you think everybody knows, think again. People unknowingly do not change up their hygiene routine or shower routines thinking that they should just stay the same. Not only does this lead to dry skin that's hard as a brick, but ineffective cleansing overall. And let's not get on the fact that people not even cleaning all the way down to their toes. I, I digress. And we're definitely not trying to shame anybody. This information is offered so that we can learn these things. So come on in, get on into it, get you some snacks or African sponge. And I want to hear from y'all down in the comments. So go ahead and let us know some of the things that have worked for you and your hygiene and shower routine. And y'all, your girl finally has a LTK or a like to know it shop. So all my health hygiene fashions and even earrings and stuff like this will be in there. Make sure you check out the link down below. Let's go. Some of us have covered ourselves in bacteria with every single shower. Let me explain in my best Kevin Hart voice. When people use things like loofahs to scrub off dead skin cells, dirt, and all the grime on our bodies, sometimes it gets lodged right on down in that loofah sponge. And if you're never washing it, baby, guess what you doing? Combine that with letting it sit in hot and moist places, you've created a perfect place for a playground of bacteria. I mean, they just running around playing hide and go seek. I told y'all I love my African net because it dries out quickly and it can be washed easily. And the same can be said about the shower head, which should be cleaned off periodically. And I showed y'all this before with a little bit of baking soda, as well as soaking it in water and vinegar. The goal is to avoid things like Legionella bacteria, which can lead to eye and ear infections. Not what's hot. And the same thing goes for a towel, y'all. Most of us done smelled a nasty sour towel. Click like if you have. But it's not just about the smell. Yes, rubbing it on you is going to stink and cause you to stink. I like using my African net, not necessarily a hand towel, but make sure that you're allowing those to dry out. And as well as your bigger towels, which you dry off with. A dirty towel could cause toenail fungus, jock itch, athlete's foot, and even warts. It's important to change or launder your towel at least once or twice a week. And yes, I love the wonderful hooks behind the door, but guess what? That bar is much better. When you hang your towel on the bar, you can spread it out more so it dries thoroughly and more quickly. Also, I've gotten much better about running my bathroom fan after baths or showers. And the reason why is because the humidity builds up and it can cause bacteria and even mold behind those walls and drywall. And y'all want none of that because you'll be breathing it in and you'll get sick and we ain't even gonna go there. Sometimes we fail to wash all the nooks and crannies. Let's not act like the holes on our body do not exist. And for some reason, when the air gets cooler, some people lose their mind and forget that those holes carry dirt, sweat, and bacteria. Your belly button behind your ears, ear piercings, underarms, the folds of your breasts, the folds of your crotch, your eyes, your nose between your toes, the back of your neck, your knees, and those butt folds. Don't forget about those. Those areas can hoard bacteria, moistness, and stank. We have to clean them regularly and thoroughly in order to avoid infections and breakouts. I've shown y'all that I've gotten into the Lumi full body deodorants. I'm not a big fan of the liquid stuff, but I do like the evergreen smells with some of the deodorants and the full body sticks because it does help with odor throughout the day. And for the love of the Lord, don't use the soap where it does not go like inside the precious lamb. That can throw off the pH balance and cause bigger issues like more stench. And if you're unsure why you're out, carry a little kit with you in order for you to make sure you have all the things you need while you're out, including little wipes, panty liners, contraceptives, and other things that can help you stay safe. Sometimes we're not making sure that we wash from our head to our toes, and also we're not making sure we wash all the soap off. Y'all know y'all done got out the bathtub with them sudsy backs before. And cooler weather does not mean to wash less because it doesn't guarantee there's going to be less stink. Some will still need to shower twice a day in the morning and at night. But we also have to make sure that we rinse off all the residue, the soap, and the suds. The water does not just come down magically and clean your legs and toes. Make sure that even if you have to have a checklist that you are actively cleaning off the bottom half of your body. Yes, there are some people that just think that the water will roll down there. 
whole different. And we'll talk about that another time. I've been guilty of leaving a little bit of suds on my body. And what ends up happening is your body ends up getting irritated, itchy, scaly, and other problems can happen from leaving that soap on your body. It's not a moisturizer to be left on. And while we're talking about head to toe, be mindful of when you're going to wash your hair because some people like to wash their face as a habit before they get in the shower. But if you're going to wash your hair, there's no use in doing that. You need to wash it after because you're getting oil, dirt, and products all over your face again. And if you go to sleep with that on at night, oh. Some of us are not moisturizing for real, and this is huge, especially when it comes to cooler weather. Do a test for me. Run your fingernail across your knee, your elbow, and the back of that heel on your foot. Does a mysterious or flaky white substance come about when you don't have a skin condition? I don't care what complexion you are. That is ash. And after a shower, your body is primed to receive moisture. Don't miss the no ash at all opportunity. I use a rich hydrating moisturizer, then body oil in order to lock in the moisture while my skin is still down. The ones that seem to stick to me the best in the fall are Eucerin and Nivea. And make sure you're taking your time moisturizing. Rub that stuff in good. We're not doing drive-by moisturizing. I like using natural oils like jojoba or almond. And I love making and using oil mixtures that include these. And our family has been using Zara's crown for a while now for me, Sean, and Little Hunter. All these oils are super nourishing and perfect for the fall. Some of us are not getting closer to eating cleaner, but this is so important in all seasons. Eating cleaner won't only help you feel better, but it helps you smell better. We all know that different foods can affect the body odor, and even some healthy foods can. But taking one step at a time to eat cleaner could help overall. When I was starting, I tried to focus on real fruits and veggies. Strive for those balanced meals. Eliminate sweet drinks. Eat more frequently and exercise. And that's why I love HelloFresh, who helps me to make my options better every time. And they're the sponsor of today's video. From the planning, shopping, and prepping to actually getting everyone to enjoy what you made, family dinners can be stressful and HelloFresh gets it. They make it easy by delivering fresh ingredients and those picky eater approved recipes right to your door every week. With a changing menu of 50 recipes to choose from each week, HelloFresh makes it easy to always find something the whole family will love. HelloFresh is easy to follow recipes, include pre-portioned ingredients delivered fresh. So no last minute grocery store run required. And we love that because we have the little one now. Just choose your delivery day, open your box and get cooking. And for a limited time, kids eat free. Go to HelloFresh.com and use code Dr. Nina Kids to unlock this exclusive offer. One free kids meal per box for two months while subscription is active. That's free yeah. kids meals just by going to HelloFresh.com and using my code Dr. Nina Kids. Visit my link in the description box below. Now, shame on us, but some of us are not even incentivizing our shower time. This is a time to love on you. And you know, this even started in childhood. A lot of us would have our little toys, our bubbles, and other things that made the time more inviting and relaxing. The same thing goes for now. Some of us want to get more intimate with others than we do with ourselves. To incentivize my showers, I use things like fragrances, essential oils, music or shows, bath steamers, candles, anything that can set the mood straight. And this makes cleaning interesting and nice, so I spend more time on my skin than it needs in the cooler weather. Make it last. Now, sis, come closer, come closer. <laughs> That soap you're using might be cute and popular, but it ain't doing nothing but drying your skin out like cement. Soaps without any moisturizing agents like antibacterial deodorant soaps can really thoroughly dry out your skin. Now, I use antibacterial soap sometimes because of my HS, but I am still so heavy on the moisturization after that. Make sure you look for some specific things within your ingredients list. And everything that I mentioned might not be in one soap. Glycerin, hyaluronic acid, fatty acids, or ceramides that lock in moisture and keep your skin barrier intact are the best bet. I love Dr. Bronner's Dove Nivea Soap. TPH and others. They have pretty good ingredients and lighter scents and then they also cleanse me well without stripping me. All wins. Some of us are aggressively washing our bodies and the water is way too hot. I'm not saying don't exfoliate. In fact, we should be doing that. But instead of being aggressive, maybe try a gentle exfoliating scrub or a gentle mitt. This helps to sloth off those skin cells and reveal smoother, brighter skin. You shouldn't be so aggressive that you get out of the shower feeling rough, raw, and cut up. Some of us are overusing shampoo and overwashing our hair as well. And overwashing your hair just leads to stripping it of natural oils and moisture that it needs in order to stay healthy. Especially in the fall as that cool weather hits. Rule of thumb, 
unless you have a super oily scalp. You shouldn't even be washing your hair every day or even every other day. And especially if you have curly, coarse, or color-treated hair, you definitely want to wash it because your hair can get so dried out, it feels like straw and it starts to break. Some people think that their hair should feel squeaky clean at all times. And that's why it's important, even if you exercise daily, that you keep some kind of hair wash day routine. Having that schedule keeps you in check. And as I've gotten older, I've realized I don't need to shampoo as often because my scalp makes a lot less oil. So I limit it to when it's absolutely necessary. And I try to use sulfate free versions as much as possible. And I focus on actual scalp care while I allow conditioner to really sit and penetrate my hair shaft to bring in the moisture, especially in the fall, because a lot of times you're not getting as much humidity from the air. Keep in mind that just like your skin in the fall, it gets dry and flaky sometimes, the same thing can happen with your scalp. So gently scrub your scalp with the balls of your fingers and massage it in when you're using the shampoo. And after you've done all your treatments and deep conditioning, use a nourishing oil on the scalp to keep it healthy. Let me know if y'all want me to do a new natural hair routine wash day update. So there we have it, the ways to transform your shower routine this fall. When you know better, you do better. So now you have no excuse. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you check out my other videos as well. You will be glad you did. Also, let me know your shower habits in the comments below. I can't wait to hear from y'all. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more. I can't wait to see y'all in the next one. Peace.